Being a tabloid reporter has never been seen as the most noble of professions, of course, but suddenly it was a career on a par with necrophiliac porn wrangler. And it didn't help that virtually the only person stepping up to defend the Red Tops was former screws hack and walking ethical vacuum in a shabby jacket, Paul McMullen. I've always said that I've just tried to write articles in a truthful way, and, you know, what better source of uh, getting the truth is to listen to someone's messages. Now, that might sound frivolous, but, um, but it's also a moral. I have to say, I think you're a walking PR disaster for tabloids because you don't come across in a sympathetic way. You come across as a sort of visible individual. God, that is amazing, Steve Cooper. To be able to play both Alan Partridge and Paul McMullen in the same room at the same time. Because we're no longer be able to expose silly celebrities for taking coke and cheating on their wives, which, to be honest, I always found a bit of fun. Um, and. Yeah. Everyone had a go at it. Liver, Pudney and... So you have to ask me who I was before. So you start saying I was exposed because he didn't even know who I was or what I'd done. Former colleagues. And those people who've been thrown out of work because of things like you and previous people like you have done and besmirched the name of a good paper. Hugh Grant. So your only motive was profit. You're not um, journalists, you have no interest in journalism. Uh, it's just money, 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 money. Hey, you should try real journalism because you're not an idiot, Paul. You, you could probably do it. He had to eat more shit than David Walliams swimming up the Thames. It was a profoundly depressing sight. You could watch him getting shabbier and shabbier as time wore on, limping from studio to studio like he was just trying to keep warm till viewers began texting in, desperately trying to vote him off. Although I moved up some, my phone's beeping, so I'll just turn that off. Oh, he's still there. I mean, I'd leave him a voicemail, but I don't know if he'd listen to it.